Today, I'm going to show you how to close the cash drawer within your thrift card account. Once you've taken out the cash drawer from your cash register, on the cash register screen within Thriftcart, you're going to click the record drawer balance button. Now note, this has to be the last thing that you do during the day. You can't run any transactions after you complete this process. On this next screen, you're going to record the hand count of all the cash that you have in your cash register. This includes the starting balance from the day. So if you start with $100 in your cash drawer at the beginning of the day, you're going to count $100 plus whatever you've earned throughout the day. You can calculate this either by just typing it in manually up here, or you can use our money calculator provided down below. So I'm going to go ahead and use the money calculator. So when I add all of those into the money calculator, they are going to populate up here at the top. So we can see that as I've counted all of this, it looks like I've got 387.38. Now once I've finished my hand count and have confirmed that that's what I have in the drawer, I can go ahead and click the next step button. When I click next step, I'm going to be taken to this screen, which is going to compare what I've typed in as the hand count compared to what the system has calculated should be in the cash drawer. So here I typed in 387.738. So it says you wish to record a balance of this. And the most recent balance from the system is 577.17. And then it gives me a message saying the balance I am recording is lower than the most recent entry by however much, in this case 189.79. At this point, I can either go back a page or click the cancel button to do a recount of my hand count if necessary, if for some reason that number is off and I need to redo it, or if this number is accurate and there is a legitimate reason why the hand count is off, I can go ahead and leave a note here just to identify why it doesn't actually record what the system recorded. So I could write here, accidentally ran duplicate transactions. Maybe that's my reason why I've got a lot more money recorded than what I actually have in the cash drawer. So now at this point, I can go ahead and click the record now button. And once I do, this is going to reset my cash drawer to the beginning of day balance. So again, like I mentioned before, this has to be the last thing done during the day. You can't do any more transactions after this. So no midday counts using this. This just has to be an end of day count. So I can go ahead and click record now. And we can see that register one, which is what we were on, resets to $100. Now, your cash drawer has been reset in the system to be ready for the next day of transactions. So go ahead and put that starting balance of cash back into the cash register, and then the remaining money would be your bank deposit.